Senator wants a probe of long-term care provider accused of giving vaccines to wealthy donors, and a CDC study confirms that the virus is most often spread by asymptomatic carriers. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Senator Rick Scott, the Republican from Florida, is calling on Congress to investigate reports that a long-term care provider in the state offered early access to virus vaccinations to its wealthy donors. Several reports last week alleged that Morse Life Health System CEO Keith Myers sent personal letters to donors and called them directly to offer early access to the vaccines. The doses had been provided through the federal government's pharmacy partnership for the long-term care program with CVS Health and Walgreens. The vaccines were intended only for long-term care residents and staff members, meaning the move could be in violation of national immunization guidelines and state protocols, according to state officials. Quote, this type of gross mismanagement will not be tolerated and those responsible must be held accountable, Scott said on Thursday, while calling for a congressional investigation into the matter. He continued, it is absolutely disgusting and immoral that anyone would take vaccines intended for nursing home residents to distribute them to their friends. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Thursday noted that the state is already investigating the matter, according to Politico. Researchers now believe that at least 50% of new virus cases stem from asymptomatic carriers based on study findings by researchers with the CDC. An analysis published on Thursday in JAMA found that 59% of all disease transmission came from asymptomatic individuals, with 35% of those being pre-symptomatic people and 24% of those people never developed any symptoms. Researchers believe that it is plausible that at least 50% of the disease spread can be linked to people who didn't have symptoms at all based on the analysis. The findings also suggest that simply finding and isolating symptomatic patients alone will not help control and stop the spread of the disease, noted researchers Michael Johansson, Ph.D., Talia Quindelacy, Ph.D., and Sarah Kata, Ph.D. The findings bolster support for providers who may unknowingly spread the virus among long-term care facilities, especially during the very first days of outbreaks in the U.S. Operators have been pilloried in some sectors of the public discourse because so many have workers who circulate among more than one building unknowingly becoming powerful transmission vectors for the virus. The research supports a November study that called on nursing homes to consider testing their staff more frequently than what federal standards dictate after the analysis revealed that method may not catch all asymptomatic personnel. CMS in September announced mandatory testing of nursing home staff would be based on county level data. Counties with low or fairly low positivity rates are designated as green or yellow, while those with higher rates are red counties. Nursing homes in green counties have to test staff once per month, yellow counties must test staff once per week, and staff in red counties must be tested twice per week. The researchers stated that this strategy at the time could miss over half of the facilities with an, infection, with an infected staff member, particularly if asymptomatic. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.